Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we are going to review a shopping trip to Eclantor VR, a game released on the Steam Store September 18th, 2020 by developer Glass Kettle Games. It's available for the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift. This game has gone free to play now, but it used to retail for $3. I actually bought it on sale for $2. I did test this game out on the Oculus Quest 2 using the Oculus Link cable. A shopping trip to Eclantor is a hidden object game for VR. Unfortunately, there is only one map in this game, so there's not a whole lot of content. I believe that's probably the reason why this game went free to play. There just wasn't enough here to really justify the price. It does feel like a demo, but it is free to play now, and I do recommend you download it. It is a fun hidden object game. You get to explore this little diorama world that's just the fresh breath air to explore. It's a charming place to visit, and you'll want to find out all of its secrets. And obviously VR gives it a sense of scale. I do wish you had the ability to scale down with the world. I think that would have brought this game over the top. While some items are out in the open and it's just a matter of finding the object, there are some items that you do need to take a couple of steps before they'll reveal themselves. So not all the items are easy to find. But it is fun to tinker around and to figure out how you open up areas to find the hidden objects. A shopping trip to Eclantor VR is running on the Unity engine. On my RTX 3080, I was getting a steady 90 frames per second. I did not experience any major issues or bugs. Unfortunately, there are no settings available for this game. You only have teleportation available. Also, there is no smooth or snap turning available. And you only teleport within a certain defined area. That's basically just to let you explore the entire world and not have to have a big room scale so as long as you have standing room and you can reach a little bit you should be able to play this game fine and not have any trouble interacting with any unnecessary items here to uncover all the hidden objects. The interactions here are pretty simple it's basically just point and click you're using your motion controllers basically as a clicker and once you're near a certain item when you click trigger it'll open up the animation for that item whether it's a tree that withers away or whether it's a plant that blossoms there are several different different animations for many different objects here and that is part of the lovely charm of this game. However, the interactions are very simple. They're basically point and click. You're not really picking up any of the objects in the world and using them in any kind of creative way. Now personally that didn't bother me at all. I enjoyed my time, my visit to Eclan Tour. This is just a very beautiful game and the music is just spot on for your visit there and it's just charming to uncover all the secrets. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, it took me only about 20 minutes to complete the game, so it definitely ended a lot sooner than I wanted. I wanted to visit Eclan Tour even longer than the 20 minutes I spent in it. I was definitely hoping for more than just one map in this game. However, since it's free to play, it's an easy recommendation for me. I would say it's a must download, and I will include this game in my top 100 Steam VR games. It is that good. And if I have to give it a score, I would give it a 7 out of 10. As a free to play title, it's a must download and if you haven't experienced a shopping trip to Eclan Tour, I highly recommend that you download this game right now. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. If you like my review, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will put a link to where you can download this game for free on Steam in the description for this video. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.